Hi everyone and welcome to Nick's Home Renovation. Today I'm going to be talking about this beautiful garden room behind me here. Sorry for the delay in getting this video to you. I basically, since my last video, not only have I got married, had a honeymoon, which is all very exciting, but I've also been working on this and several kitchen renovations that will be coming soon as well. But this has been my baby over the past sort of five, six weeks. Um, really enjoyed doing it. Something completely different from what I've ever done before. I think you'll agree it looks pretty amazing. Let me um, take you to see it. So this is a garden room that um, the owner basically wanted some more space in the house. Um, an extension was too costly and you had to go through council, get planning permission, etc. Whereas this is about six metres by four and a half, five metres. Um, you don't need planning permission due to the roof pitch being at a certain height. Um, and you can just start straight away. So it's a really good way of getting extra space in your house or at the bottom of the garden without having to go through the mess and the admin that comes with building extension down here. This particular garden room is why I think it looks so good is due to this. And this has been clad in cedar wood. It's, a re it's quite expensive, but it's a really, really nice way of topping this off and not just having your usual concrete um, or rendered surface. I think this looks really, really smart. It's basically set on a concrete base and it's just a timber wooden frame. Um, and obviously you can see a flat pitch roof at the top. And it just it's one of those jobs that is just really fun to see it go up. And it can go up really quickly. This is about five weeks in not quite finished probably about a week to two weeks with painting and things but let me show you around so we we'll start at the side down here you can see more of that beautiful cedar wood um, we still need to cut this trimming from the roof but that could be done at any stage we've got this window to give a little bit of light in there and as you can see it's about four or five meters down the side we thought it was a nice detail to bring this bit out and have the lights here, really nice lights and just go in a bit here and you've got the sliding door and we've got some more lights going down here just to give it a nice effect. All of these lights and some lights I'm going to run either side of the, the flower, uh, either side of the garden down here are all going to be on a timer so they'll just come on for two or three hours and they'll look really nice from the house I think when this is all lit up of an evening. Coming through the sliding door, it's a very wet day this is it. So as you can see, the owner has decided to put a kitchen at this end. Um, it's just a simple kitchen, it's just mostly all of these units are empty, apart from this one at the end here, which is a little fridge for drinks or beers or whatever. Um, for those of you who have seen my other stuff, you'll probably recognise this kitchen. It's a grey um, handleless kitchen, I think it's called the Luca design um, from DIY-kitchens.com. Use them a lot, really well made, really cheap. Um, and this work surface, which is a bit dusty, is from Howden's and is called the Great Grey Oak Effect Worktop. I'll put some prices up alongside this video once I edit it. So really simple but really nice to have it and good for extra storage space as well. The owner has a baby so it even could be double up as a playroom down here although when I show you the other end you might disagree with what the owner has. Um, coming round here you can see the insulation they have here so I've had to cut it out because this socket was really deep because of all these cables but so the whole place here is insulated with huge insulation so it's really warm all year round and all you need is one tiny energy efficient electric radiator it's really low cost to run, really low maintenance, and, and that will heat the whole thing. I think um, some of the log cabins and other garden rooms don't aren't that sort of easy to heat, whereas this is the complete opposite. It's insulated floor to ceiling, all the walls, and will be really warm all year round. Swinging round here, you can see the owner has decided to build this bespoke TV unit. And this is going to look absolutely amazing when finished. This obviously at the top here is going to be where the TV is. It looks like it's going to be quite a big one. 
Down here is where I've run all my cables for my socket, um, for the speakers, for the Cat 6, for the internet, um, and the aerial for the skybox, etc. And then over here, he's going to have some bookshelves with some glass shelves in here, and I've even run some LED lights, which are going to look really cool, lit up. Um, the pink cable you see everywhere is speakers. I believe there's six speakers run here. One in here, one in here. These are those LED lights at the top again, gonna look really cool. And then more speakers in the center of the room and by the kitchen. So you're really gonna have good sound for your TV or your games or whatever you're running here. Um, the owner also asked me to put 10 spotlights in, which you can see. That light actually in the middle will turn into a smoke detector once it's all done, that's just temporary. Um, and all these cables on the wall, we're gonna have some nice wall lights and they'll all be switched individually. So you don't have to have these big main lights on as they can be a bit much. So you can just have certain wall lights on at a time. As you can see, it's a really, really nice space, but I think as nice as it will look in here, the outside is what sells it for me and it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, we've actually, since starting this, been asked to build two more um, because people have heard about it and we've brought them here to have a look and they just love it. And as I say, it's a really handy space to have and you don't need planning permission and it's, you know, a most a two month, it's a 10 week job, but I think it could be done in five or six weeks if all the trades sort of liaise well together. Um, we had to wait a little bit for the plasterer to come and there's quite a lot of plastering that we got there in the end. Um, I will be doing a video on the next one, on one of the two we've got commissioned, um, and I'll be doing that from the ground up. I didn't have time to do it on this one because I was here, there, and everywhere on other kitchen renovations that I have filmed and will be um, putting on YouTube soon. Um, so I will do one doing everything from the base, all the woodwork, all the insulation, every stage where this one will just be now, and I'll do another one once it's been furnished in here and painted and make it look really nice. So I hope um, you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, I know the guys who, who have built it and they, they do this regularly now and they're going to be helping me sort of do these in the future. So if you're interested, they can come out for a free site visit. They're based in sort of London, Kent, Surrey areas. So let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and um, I'll speak to you all soon.